Hey, what is up guys? The Only Monster here with another replay. This replay was sent in by Opulent Omega uh, on the Jakiro right here. So thank you for sending your game and actually and letting me cast it. So yeah, let's get into the draft. Looks like for the Radiant we have uh, Red King gonna be a safe lane. Uh, Wind Ranger probably gonna be in, be in the mid and then this DK probably gonna be the off laner. And the uh, dual support is gonna be this Lion, um, Lion Pudge. I'm not sure whether the lion's gonna be the four or the five. I'd, I'd like to see the lion be the be the five. Uh, I don't really like this uh, five punch, but hey, uh, that has never stopped people from going five punch. Uh, we have the rune spawning in. We're just gonna try to hook the river rune right here. Get some nice little hook off. Nobody was there to pick it up, and looks like it's actually gonna be. Three for one for the Radiant. Very nice. Good start there for the Radiant. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be an F, uh, Magnus off lane, then uh, Slark safe lane, and then probably a sniper in the mid. So it looks easy. Yep. What is this? Avalon 5? Yeah, Avalon 5. That's cool. I like that. And then the Jakiro 4. Going boots first. Got a little bit of extra movement speed. Um, this, uh, this dragon actually be pretty chilling, um, over here by the mid lane, he did get level 1 dragon fire, I mean pre fire, uh, the sniper is gonna be able to harass him a little bit, but once he gets, uh, 1 or 2 points into the dragon blow, he should be pretty chilling. Actually, interesting lane setup, it's gonna be Wind Ranger and the Pudge in the safe lane, and then the Wraith King over here by the off lane, so very curious. Not sure why they decided to put the Wraith King against the Slark. Like, um, you know, um, a melee core against the Slark. The Slark is just gonna be able to get the essence shifts off of the, off of the Wraith King. And at least the uh, Wind Ranger would have been the, you know, would have been ranged. So it's a little bit harder to get on top of the Wind Ranger than it is onto the Wraith King. Wraith Fire Blast onto the Slark, but he should be okay. Dragon Knight dropping a little bit low, needs to be a little bit careful, but has a 1 point into Dragon Blood, so it's kind of chilling. Power Shot. Nice little bit of damage. This is probably gonna get the pull off. Oh, missed it, but oh, he's actually just gonna go for the stack. Very nice, he did. So far, not much happening. Spark doing pretty well in the last hits, and so is the Magnus, surprisingly. I think this lane is kind of hard, like, uh, you know, getting harassed out uh, against the Wind Ranger is not fun, but I guess the Empower makes it uh, that much easier to last it, and 5 Pudge doesn't have that much um, nice pull, uh, 5 Pudge doesn't put a lot of pressure, and unless, like, if you're not landing hooks, then the hero feels pretty bad. Sniper gonna be going, going for the Water Rune, nicely done, get a little bit of the HP going. Salve? I heard a salve. Oh, I'm blind. Nice ray fire blast. But, oh, the pounds. Nice air spike there. But then he's uh, racing out of trouble. Maybe if the Avalon was there for, for that, um, that could have been a kill, but he was um, back there pulling. A little bit of a missed opportunity, but you know. ED, what ED. This Magnus clearing out the small camps. Wraith King still kind of low up top. Does he have any regen? He doesn't. And uh, the lion used up the the salve that he had. So maybe this Wraith King should uh, look to try to click some creeps so he can get the lifesteal off and just straight up get some regen delivered out to him. Uh, otherwise, he's in trouble, you know, just getting jumped by the Slark. Both mid laner is like <laughs> pretty low, especially the sniper. This sniper gets. Uh, nah, he's gonna be fine. Uh, but if this dragon had uh, maybe a point into the dragon tail, that could have been a little bit more trouble. He has a salve, kind of salve up, so he's gonna be fine. Oh, Pudge DC. And we're gonna have a pause. So, yeah, as soon as the Pudge reconnects, uh, I'll be right back. So, see you guys in a second. And we're back. We have a reconnect. And well, over here by the top lane, Slark going down. I mean, Slark, uh, Wraith King going down to the pounce. 
And then this lion also in trouble, doesn't manage to get the spike off. Abaddon tanking the tower shots, nicely done. Puts the shield on top of him and uh, doesn't end up going down. But actually, going down there wouldn't have been bad because, yeah, he has to TP back to base anyway. So I think suicide into the tower would, wouldn't actually been that bad there. You know, you get to die, you get a free TP back to base and then you can just TP back to lane. In this case, you know, he has to TP to base and then he has to run all the way out there. But, you know, doesn't want to feed any gold to the opponent team so i understand that lion making a rotation over by the mid lane dragon tail coming through onto the sniper then the spike the sniper looks to be in quite a bit of trouble a few more last hits one more last hit that's gonna do it nice little kill good rotation there by the lion securing the kill onto the sniper a little bit unfortunate that the i'm not sure if the sniper actually had vision he must have had vision of the lion there so a little bit unfortunate that he stuck around a little bit too long uh, the Dragon Knight going for the point into the Dragon Tail, buying enough time for the Lion to, you know, get himself into position, spike the Sniper, and then, you know, that's a dead Sniper. Nicely done. Hook. A little bit off the mark, kind of unfortunate. Oh, what a player this Aladon is having his Slark. Once this Slark is level 6, he's gonna be, like, pretty chilling up here. Um, you know, he'll be able to uh, get outside of Vision and just regen up. Missing, missing a few last hits there on the tower. Not, uh, not ideal. One minute last hit. Spy coming on through to this lark. That's just one annoying thing against going a uh, lion. He's just gonna keep spiking you and like uh, draining your mana, which is not fun at all. Sniper almost level six. This dragon actually has a level six, so he could go. Yep. Going into the Elder Dragon form, just to pop it, put a little bit of pressure into the lane and uh, onto the tower now that this Siege Turret is here. Oh, and he's even going to get a DD. Wow. That's, uh, that's going to be dangerous. This sniper needs to be a little bit careful. You know, going to start backing away. But yeah, this, um, this, <laughs> this tower is going to take uh, some damage right here. The DD from the from the Dragon Knight and then also the, the Siege Turret here. It's going to be quite a bit of damage. We'll see if any of the um, Dire supporters actually rotate over to try to help um, defend this, but I don't think it's still 6 minutes into the game and yeah, look at this tower, just melting. A few more, like, this tower's gone. This, this sniper doesn't have any points into the shrapnel, so he can't really defend or push out the waves that fast, and yeah, that's like, that tower's gone. Slark, on the other side, pops the stick charges, has to run away. Ooh, Ray Fire Blast connecting onto the Slark. Nice little heal there coming through onto the Slark, keeping him alive. And now there's Abaddon turning around and fighting onto him, but actually doesn't have mana. Does have the wand if he wants to pop it. Should put the shield on top of him, puts the shield on top of him. This is the Wraith King, I think. Nicely done there by the Abaddon. <laughs> Fairy Fire? Oh, almost. But the Slark's there. Doesn't pop the Dark Pact, so he's not going to be able to purge off the Hex and the Spike, but... Let's purge that off. What the crit? Shook around the trees. He has a crit back up, so if he gets vision of you. Oh, he's dead. Nice spike there. Blind spike there. Really unfortunate that the Slark ended up going down there. And oh, we're down by bot lane. The Jakiro going down. But yeah, really unfortunate that the Slark ended up going down there. This Aladon was doing absolute work up top, you know, get the kill until the. Wraith King, I mean that Wraith King buyback was uh, a little bit of a rage buyback, but hey, it landed in the kill, so hey, it works out in the end. So look at Red Bottom, what happens. Nice cure back onto the tower. Shockwave, slowing him down. Oh, 43 HP. Top tower is under no way. Doesn't get the, the hit off, and then the focus fire on top of the Jakira, and then. The Jakira has no way of getting out. He did have a TP, so maybe he could have tried for the TP, but could would have cut it close. This Wraith King now in trouble. He does have the level 6, so he's gonna be okay. Reincarnation though, cooldown for another 200 seconds. Dragon Eye over down here by the bot lane, pops the Elder Dragon for him. He's gonna start pushing down this tower. Nice rotations there by the Dragon Knight, you know, takes the tower down by the mid lane. Now moves down to bottom, wants to take this tower next. Very nicely done. Nice path coming through. Hook shot a little bit off the mark. Dragon Tail coming onto the Magnus. Magnus dropping kind of low. Shackle shot. 
nice shackle shot onto the Magnus and then the Breeze fire enough to finish off the kill. Over here up top though, Lion is gonna end up going down. But I think um, you're quite happy as the Radiant, you know, taking the offlaner for in trade of your Lion. I think you're quite happy about that. But the Sniper, Imbis Rune, down here at the bot. Trap, no, oh, but gets hooked by the punch. They do get the kill onto their punch, and now this Dragonite looks to be in quite a bit of trouble. Nice power shot there, securing the kill onto the Sniper, but Dragonite is gonna end up coming down to the magical damage of the Jakiro. Dual breath, free fire. Skewer is available, and so is RP, and to pop the RP, more than enough to secure the kill. Double kill for the Jakiro, nicely done there. I ain't gonna TP on over, you know, suck at his mana, but there's not much he can do all by his own himself. And very nicely done there by the side of the dire. Even though the it was unfortunate that the sniper like um, went for the one the radiant had vision of him uh, with the sentry wards. But another thing is like so unfortunate that he ended up like um, going shrapnel and then using the assassinate immediately. It's like. Um, um, you just set yourself up to, you know, getting stunned or hooked, and yeah, the Pudge hooked him over. He ends up uh, dying, unfortunately, but they do secure the kill onto the Dragonite and the, like, uh, and the Wind Ranger, which is an uh, important thing. <laughs> Looks like we have another DC. Uh, as soon as they pause, I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll be right back, but until that happens. The Sniper getting ran down, nice. Nice hook, but Pudge not quite level 6, but you know who's level 6? This Lion gets the finger off and secures the kill onto the Sniper. Nicely done there. This Avalon, level 7. Actually, I'm in the jungle, I'm not quite sure why. Like, uh, don't mean to this or anything, but I don't like it when uh, supports are just like farming the jungle. It's like, uh, you know, instead of farming the jungle, you, you could have been stacking, you could have been um, warding. There's so much more you could have been doing. Mm, this Magnus needs to be careful like this like yeah sure you got your screw off but you know your tower is gone and if the poison he's dead to the poison yeah wow yeah a little bit oversellers there by the Magnus the sniper trying to chase for the kill but this boy a little bit too far and a little bit too chunky and yeah he's gonna have to give up on that Wraith King has reincarnation ready, so you need to be careful. Hex coming onto the Slark. Slark? Gonna jump onto this Wraith King, start stealing this essence shift. Spike coming on through. Sniper on the other end, gonna end up going down, but that's gonna be the first life for the Wraith King. Avadon dropping kinda low, already used this uh, borrowed time. Let's just start running away. Spike? Nice. Kill. But I actually wanna rewind a little bit and see that engagement down here with the sniper oh no haste room by the pudge it's not level 6 yet but lands the hook regardless doesn't even need this member now this dragon knight dragon tail breathe fire and pudge kind of going down to the tower but hey and okay i also have to go see where this um <laughs> so many kills happening like like so many different spaces Jakira dual breath Mac liquid fire here comes a macro fire I can feel it oh no macro fire <gasps> just die to the tower interesting and over here by top I don't know up going down well, a lot of <laughs> a lot of kills happening throughout the map. Literally on every single lane, one kill happened, all at the same time. But this large game chase down, nice dark fact. Oh, purchase off the silence as well. But the spike is there. A few more right clicks should do it. 80 HP. Is he gonna catch up? Is under attack. He needs mana for the pounce. He's ducking and weaving. Nice little jukes. He jukes long enough. Gets out of vision and regens up enough, now has mana for the pounds. The Fury's thrown up, Micro Pyre gonna come down. Lion walking back, right back into the Micro Pyre, and then Liquid Pyre gonna come down, and yeah, this is the Lion. Wraith King, you still keep running. The rest of the Dire Heroes are coming, nice TP. 
Wow, but the ice path to cancel the TP. Nicely done there by the Chikiro. Ray Fire Blast coming out to the Abaddon. But the Surrender the Wraith King. This is just a matter of time before he goes down. Oh, nice little cutaway at the tree. Not gonna matter. Valiant attempt at juking into the trees, but you know, when you have three heroes chasing you, it's a little bit hard. Let's see. Wind Ranger gonna be going for the face boots. His sniper doesn't have his mailstorm yet. No, not really doing that well. Oh, I should have switched this to. Um, yeah, I should have switched to net worth about five minutes ago or something like that. Apologies. But yeah, this sniper not really having a good time. And this Dragon Knight, after a really good start, you know, treads, soul ring, mailstorm already. Doing pretty well. Smoke movement coming through. Uh, it says that he's in Elden Dragon form, but he's not. It's bug. Uh, like that always happens with, with that. And looks like they're gonna find a Slark. Oh no. No, they don't. Looks like he's gonna be able to run away. Oh, hook a little bit off the mark. We're gonna have to rewind there so we can see what happened to onto the sniper. Oh no way! Shackle shot into just a focus fire. Yeah, Shackle Shot, Corvus Fire, Dead Sniper. However, Magna is showing up. RP. RP. He already used the skewer, so he can't really skewer on underneath the tower. Slark is coming on through, but looks like the it's gonna cost the Magnus his life and Slark's not gonna chase any further. Wow. Oh, kill for the Wind Ranger, a little bit unfortunate there. This oh, a hook coming out through onto the Slark Dark Pack cancels off the this member. It's gonna start laying it onto the Pudge, bridging up. Gonna get the kill, but however, the Slark wow gets finished off by this Jackal shot. Now, there's Jakiru on the retreat. Lion with the spike. Oh, he was casting it. Oh, Focus fire, I mean, sh uh, power shot a little bit off the mark there, but wow, really unfortunate there for the, for the side of the dire. Like, um, you know, losing the sniper at the beginning of the fight, and then the Magnus trying to do something to turn it around. Maybe he had waited a little bit more and like had the Slark nearby, or just literally any other hero with him, then that would have been a completely different story. But you know, he ends up going down, assassinating not quite enough to finish off the Wind Ranger. I'm surprised it's only a 1k net worth lead. I expect it to be a little bit, um, a little bit more considering like uh, how many pickups the uh, Rainy's even able to get hooked. Onto the Magnus, this member coming on through. Magnus looks to be in quite a bit of trouble. It's gonna end up going down. Finger securing the kill. Actually, no, it was a Pudge, but Finger did quite a bit of damage. And they're gonna get away, like just a free pickup, just like that. They get in, they get out. Wraithking, like, uh, you know, they're not going for, for these skills, they're not trying to chase these skills, like, um, you know, this Wraith King doesn't have reincarnation. Lion just used your, his finger and, and uh, Pudge just used this member. I think uh, with three Radiant's heroes, you could probably you could probably go and plus you see Wind Ranger showing at top. You don't see where the Dragon Knight is, but you know he doesn't have Dragon form, so a little bit unfortunate not chasing for those skills and this, oh, this Slark nearly going down to the Wind Ranger to the Shackle Shot and... Um, Focus fire combo and then the power shot almost connecting. Luckily, it didn't for the Slark because it would have been disastrous. No sniper going down another time. This sniper not having a good time. Slark jumping on through onto the Wind Ranger. RP gets popped. This is gonna be a dead Wind Ranger. Huh? Wind round. A little bit of a duration. Does have the face boots, but just dance at UFK. Oh, he DC'd. That's so unfortunate. He actually could have, he actually could have juked into the trees quite well, and he had the face boots as well. So could have bought a little bit more time there. A little bit unfortunate that um, he ends up going down there. Blink dagger there for the oh hook coming on through. Very fire blast. This member. This is dead Jakiro. Oh, a nice, um, nice skewer there, but not gonna be enough. And then the crit and the, the breathe fire, gonna be enough to uh, finish up the kill onto the Slark. Really unfortunate there. No, Ray Fire Blast, hook onto the Magnus. Magnus looks to be pretty dead. Haha, <laughs> ha. 
blink dragon tail into the breathe fire securing the kill. <laughs> yeah, this game looking not looking too good for for the side of the die. They need to start making some some good moves because they just keep getting picked off um, by uh, by the side of the radiant. They're still not pausing for this. Yeah, I was about to say they're still not pausing for this wind ranger, but now they will. So as soon as the wind ranger's back, uh, I'll be right back. So I'll see you in a second. And we're back. We have a receipt. There we go. Looks like they're gonna take the top tower on the side of the Radiant. Link Dagger for this Wraith King as well. It's actually like, you know, treads Blink, like a uh, Blink first item. Interesting, wants to, um, you know, keep initiating, have some good initiation, and be able to, you know, stay there with his team. So Wind Ranger going for the Orchid already has one Oblivion Staff. Radiance the Sniper. Uh, he had queued up the Maelstrom at the beginning, but then um, and then he went for the Javelin. Uh, I mean, he had the Javelin, he wanted to go for the Maelstrom, but it looks like he's going for the MKB now. It looks like he just wants to be outputting a little bit more damage. Mana Boots on the Abaddon, Mana Boots on Jakiro. Hmm, I'm surprised that Jakiro didn't actually like. Um, disassemble his arcane boots uh, to get the energy booster and then have his um, ether lens a little bit sooner but it looks like he just wants to keep the arcane boots instead blink onto the magnus hex spike dragon tail the finger gonna be enough to finish off the kill quick little pick off onto the magnus and now the sniper cut out of position needs to keep running <laughs> this Dragon Knight really diving for this kill. He's really chunky. Wraith King, Wraith Fire Blast, and then the right clicks. Dead Sniper. Really unfortunate. The sniper tried to help out his Magnus buddy, but then, you know, he showed. Dragon Knight saw him, and he's like, yep, you're mine. Went for him, dove the tier 2, gets the kill onto him. Slug, gonna be going for the SNY. Like. You know, you're not used to seeing this, uh, such a lead, like, uh, this early on, especially, like, um, you know, 19 minutes and already claiming the, the tier 2s is, uh, not looking too good for the Dire. They definitely need to start making some, uh, good moves. Magnus? Don't say how to blink. Nice little pounce onto the Lion. That's gonna be a quick pick-off. Nice skewer. Skewered him back so that the hook doesn't connect onto the Lion. Nice attempt there by the Pudge, but... Well played by the knight, uh, scaring the lion back and avoiding that uh, hook save. Hmm, what does the race king have coming? Crystalis. Okay, cool. A little, like, um, a little bit of a different approach. I actually haven't seen Crystalis like quite a while. Uh, at least on a race king. So I'm curious to see what he's able to make out of it. Yeah, I should complete it for the Slark. His Avalons have 1700 in the bank. I wonder what he's gonna be going for next. This, oh, this sniper keeps changing items like uh, every two seconds. Like, you know, before he had the MKB queued up, now he has the Agonims queued up. Interesting. This Magnus is going for the Greaves. I'd like to see this Magnus get a blink at some point. Like, yeah, I like the Greaves. I think it's a good item, but right now I think um, your team needs a little bit more initiation because. Besides from you, you're the only team fight and the only person who can really initiate. Like, Slark doesn't really want to be jumping in first. Very fire blast. What's a Magnus? Magnus is trying to farm the wave. Has a skewer. Gonna be able to get away. What? Dragon Tail, blink. Onto the Dragon Knight. The hook? Dismember? Yeah, this is that Slark. So unfortunate. He just. <laughs> like this Lark and this Sniper just keep getting picked off by, um, you know, this Pudge, this, um, this Pudge, this Dragonite, and this Lion. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, point and click stuns that seem to be pretty effective against this uh, dire lineup. This Wind Ranger needs to be a little bit careful though. This Jakiro, like, he has, uh, he has quite a bit of. Oh, he's actually walking up the high ground. Not really sure this is a move. But. Doesn't have that much reinforcements around. Nice shackle shot. But now he's committed quite a bit. Magnus showing up. Pops the RP. What did you expect? Oh my god, sniper. 
going down again. That's how it looks he's. Gets hooked. Lion finger. Finish off the kill. Yeah, it's uh the sniper not having a good time. How many how many deaths does he have? Eight deaths, yeah. No bueno. Magnus has the greaves. Probably gonna be going for the blink next. Wow, this game, so many DCs. Yep, uh, as I mentioned before, as soon as the guy reconnects, I'll be right back. So I'll see you again in a bit. We're back, we have a reconnect. So look, hood for the punch, nice. Blink on the lion, I think he's had that for a while now. Dragonite almost has his heart completed. More with mass for the Wraith King. I wonder if he's gonna try to build Satanic with that, or if that's just a casual Morbid Mask. I'm actually not sure the lifesteal stacks. Um, that's actually a really good question. So I would not be able to... Oh, he's going for the Mask of Madness. Interesting. Okay, cool. Increases, um, you know, the ability for him to farm, and then also when he's on top of heroes, he's able to do a little bit more damage. I like it. Uh, definitely an unconventional build by the Wraith King, but I like it. Actually, not using the Mask of Madness or these farming creeps. Interesting. Oh, blink, refire, but the rest of the Radiant, the Dire team is there to back him up. They quickly get an Aphotic Shield on top of him, purge off the stun, and he's able to back up. And yeah, the rest of the Dire team were not really in the vicinity to um, to follow up with that stun, so a little bit unfortunate. Dire, they take control of the, uh, I mean Dire, Radiant take control of the Dire Triangle, but it looks like the Dragonite's gonna TP on back, deal with this uh, wave up top and farm that out. This, uh, yeah, this Dire team needs to get a little bit more vision now because they only have this one word right here over oh, Wraith Fire Blast onto the Slark, but this Wraith King is in the middle of nowhere. Like, his team's pretty far away, but oh, nice hook by the Pudge. This member didn't quite come on through. Reincarnation gonna get popped, a party shield onto the Sniper. Sniper dropping kind of low. Is he gonna be able to run away? Oh my god, he will. Nice Greaves there, healing him up, and actually they get the kill onto the Pudge. Now this Wraith King has to go on the retreat. Reincarnation has already been used. Nice Ice Path. That's more than enough damage to finish off the kill onto the Wraith King. Nice pounce there by the Slark and the Ice, and the ice Path. And yeah, just like that, uh, the Radiant get a little bit too antsy. Like, uh, you know, they tried going in onto the, uh, onto the Slark, but you know, the rest of the Dire Heroes were there and you know, for once <laughs> this uh, sniper gets hooked and actually doesn't end up dying. Uh, the sniper can thank his uh, Magnus for, for those griefs. What does Magnus have coming? Blade mail. Interesting. But now nah, it looks like he's now queuing the blink. Not really. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, for the... Um, Wind Ranger, if you get focus fire, you can always pop the blade mail. But I think uh, it's kind of niche, and I think uh, the blink would have been useful. But hey, he's getting it regardless. It's just gonna come a little bit later. So we have another DC. The, the radiant are not pausing. I'm not sure they have any pauses left, but we'll see if they choose to pause. And when they do pause, I'll just uh, pause the video and then uh, be right back. But so far, it's not well completed for this like. This race king, like he didn't, like he was fighting, he was during the fight and he never used his uh, Mask of Madness, like he only used it when he was like, dead. Uh, yeah, a little bit curious, not sure why, why you're getting the Mask of Madness if you're not really using it to like, farm and uh, you know, hit heroes with it. So, a little bit, uh, a little bit curious there. Nice item here by the Abaddon, the Vladimir's offering. That's uh, that's a big item right there for for his team. Like uh, the aura is just so nice. The life steal, the damage. Uh, I think it also provides mana region. It's really nice. Really nice item there by the Abaddon. This uh, this Slark and this Sniper can really benefit from it because they don't really have any um 
They need life steal. So this Abaddon unable to provide some uh, some much needed life steal. Uh, this sniper with the assassinate. Now that he has the axe, he's gonna be spamming that a lot more. Still, no one pausing for the lion. So right now the the radiant don't really want to do much. They're just sitting back, farming their lanes, farming the jungle. Slark, kind of creep wave, dragging it back. Actually, he needs to be careful. I mean, this this uh this wind ranger gets a drop on him. Like uh, you know, Slark's in quite a bit of trouble, but he does have his team around him to back him up. So. Overwhelming blink for the Dragon Knight. Blade mail for the Pudge next. Hey, Wraith King using the Mask of Madness. Nice. My boy. Blink almost completed for this Magnus. This Magnus farming, like, you know, he's been owning this whole uh, ladder triangle and been able to farm it pretty well. Wow, Blink. Dragon Tail. Nice. He managed to get to the Shadow Dance off before he gets dismembered. But. Now he has to has to be careful. However, the Dragon Knight's actually backing up, not really wanting to back off his Pudge and just kind of bails on him. Uh, you know, Pudge, Pudge had a different idea. Pudge wanted to go in, but the Dragon Knight had a different idea. He wanted to go away. Sixteen essence shifts on this Slark. Like, you know, as the long longer the game goes on, and once this Slark gets to level twenty-five and those uh, essence shifts last for an extra sixty seconds, that's gonna be pretty massive. Invisibility on the Abaddon. Ooh. Wind Ranger gets a hold of uh, the hero, but she's in quite deep. They even pop the RP, no hesitation. This is Jakiro surviving, they pop the Greaves. Well, this Wind Ranger has another charge of the Wind Run, so he's actually gonna be able to get away. Nicely done there by the, by the Dire, good reactions, you know, um, helping out his. Uh, their Jakiro when the the Wind Ranger started running in, maybe a little bit too antsy with the with the RP, but hey, they they save the Jakiro, they almost get the kill until the Wind Ranger, and honestly, judging by how the situation was going a few moments ago, that's that's pretty good. Only a 5k network lead, starting that network lead starting to dwindle away. Scotty gonna be next for the Slark. Wind Ranger choosing to go for the Bloodthorn. Wraith King going for the data loss, interesting. What is that? Etherlands? Yeah, nice. Then the Ghost Scepter and then the Axe, okay. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This Lark pretty close to his uh, Scotty, and it's about 400 more gold. Blink is there for the Magnus. I, I'd like to see them smoke up once the RP is off cooldown, but hold that thought. Wind Range in a little bit of trouble already. Just all her wind rounds into the trees trying to juke it out, but she's not going to be able to make it out. A few more right click. Ah, assassinates there to secure the kill. And yeah, they to get the kill into the Wind Ranger. That's a huge kill. That's a pretty big kill. What level is he? Level 20. Oh, Titan's there for the Dragon Knight. That's a nice neutral. They're bringing out the Slark. The Slark needs to be a little bit careful. I'm trying to scout things out into the triangle, but yeah, shoot back up. The rest of the raiding heroes are just camping your triangle. Just be careful, but wow. Oh, nice pounce there, but he's gonna get caught out in the end. Blink by the Dragon Knight, Dragon Tail, but it's only these two heroes. And then this dra Slark is gonna start running rampant. Oh, a nice jump from the Wraith King onto the. Onto the sniper, sniper in quite a bit of trouble, it's gonna end up going down. Looks like the race king is gonna lose his first life. Dragon Knight jumping back in, Aquapire coming on too, dealing quite a bit of damage. Now the Stark in a little bit of trouble, has to start running away. But the race king already lost his first life, it's gonna end up going down. Wow, Pudge kinda jump in and finish off the kill onto the Stark, but not gonna be able to. RP is available, and this is Dragon Knight being surrounded by everyone. Greaves are gonna get popped, Jakiro, Ice Path. 
Which might be into this, uh, into this Dragon Knight. It's gonna take quite a bit, but they're gonna be able to bring him down. And they do. How many? <laughs> I wanna see how many extra shit this Dark has. 36. Yeah. This, uh, this Pudge, trying to finish off the kill onto the Slark was, um, you know, commendable. Almost gets a kill onto him, but not quite able to. A little bit unfortunate there. And yeah, this Slark gonna have his scatty completed. 35 Essence Shift stacks, like, right now, it is go time for the die. One, less than 1k nerf worth each for this Radiant team. Yeah, <laughs> this Radiant team starting to crumble a little bit. I mean, the IR team are able to make some good moves. And now I think Roche is on, like, you know, with this Dragonite that for 40 seconds, I could look to do Roche for sure. Link? Three seconds. But Lion with the haste rune, gonna be able to get away. Poke a little bit off the mark, but, but you need to be a little bit careful. This is not 20 minutes ago where you were able to bully out the Slark. Ooh, Slark, and a little bit of trouble. Does pop the dark pact and now he's gonna be jump onto the lion this lion can be food for the slark on the other hand saladon going down to the wraith king but wraith king kind of a no man's land has reincarnation on cooldown for another 30 seconds even pop the rp for it that's gonna be a dead wraith king wow this um yeah this uh this radiant team just crumbling like you know, trying to take fights like they, they were like, you know, maybe 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, but you know, it doesn't work the same. These heroes, they have a little bit more farm now and uh, they're a little bit chunkier, you know, the, uh, your same tricks, your same bag of tricks that worked 15 minutes ago. It's not going to keep working now, 30 minutes into the game. And yeah, they're going to claim tier 2. Yeah, this Slark, like I said, once he gets this uh, level 25, it's... It's gonna be huge because these uh, these stacks are gonna stay on for that much longer. They claim the outpost, get that little bit of an EXP advantage. Yeah, this this dire like considering what they were, <laughs> how they were doing like 15 minutes ago, they just kept dying on every single lane. The sniper kept getting picked off. Same thing for the slark. But then you know like um, the dire take uh, take a few good fights here and there, and then all of a sudden the game's completely uh, a 180 turn. Slark gonna claim this uh, safe lane tower. Let's see what he's going for. Actually going for the Daedalus. Okay. Ooh, DD up uh, on the bottom side of the river. And yeah, they actually get vision of that. So the Slark or the Sniper able to get a hold of that. That's gonna be quite deadly. But looks like the Lion's gonna deny that out. Nicely done. That could have been uh, pretty bad if the Slark or the Sniper gets a hold of that. <laughs> Just to be a nuisance, cancel the the yeah, post channel. Like, it's gonna get it regardless, but you know. I'm surprised this um this Wind Ranger um doesn't have a BKB or you know like a blink or a four staff or some type of item to like you know create space Radiant so that uh, he's not able to cut out so easily. We'll see if uh, he chooses to get that. Also, a sheep stick would be kind of nice on the on the Wind Ranger for the Slark or um, or the Sniper. Yeah, it was completed by the Wraith King. Looks like he's gonna be going for the Shadow Blade next. The Dire Heroes are in the Roche pit. Looks like the Pudge is starting to circle that out. I'm not sure if it was a Pudge or the Magnus. Oh, that power shot actually scouted out the Roche pit. So they know that they're doing Roche, but you know, all the Dire Heroes are here and uh, not all the Radiant Heroes are here. They are starting to make their way over. They're gonna pop the other Dragon form. This one, oh, flinking by the Dragon Knight, right on top of the Slark. Slark, gonna pop the BKB, start laying it onto the, oh, a nice RP. Coming on through, onto the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight, dropping a little bit low, but this the Slark starting to build up the Assassin Shifts. But nice spike. Magnus dropping pretty low. Reincarnation, that's gonna be the first life. The Slark in quite a bit of trouble. Tries to get the kill onto the lion, but needs to start running away. Worry about your own life, but he is gonna be brought down. Wow, what a chaotic fight. That RP looked really good for a second. I'm not sure if the Slark actually had him power during that fight. 
can see. And it doesn't show up in the abilities used, so yeah, like because it was it felt a little bit underwhelming because it was quite a good RP, but the damage from the slug felt a little bit underwhelming and I'm not sure how um I'm not sure if the macro pirate landed like uh you know on top of the heroes that were RP'd. Maybe a little bit of um not really comboing the skills um, too well together on the dire. The RP looked really good, but you know it was just onto the uh, onto the Dragon Knight. They do get the kill onto the onto the Wind Ranger, but you know you have the two other chunkies, the the Dragon Knight and the Wraith King to worry about. They're gonna start walking off the high ground. They're not gonna choose to finish. Oh, they actually they did finish Roche. My bad. I thought they didn't. That's gonna be the first life for the Wraith King. Wraith King, it's gonna go down. Wow. Now it's Dragon. I need to be careful. He's the only one left here. He does have the Aegis. But they hold. Wow. This Wraith King being a little bit too, being a little bit too antsy. Like, you know, he he has pure pure damage items. Like, you know, he has Blink, Daedalus, um, Mask of Madness, Shadow Blade. You know, these items don't really give you any any stats or any way to survive against the uh, physical damage that this uh, sniper is able to provide or the magic damage that this Jakiro puts out. And looks like we have another DC by the Wind Ranger. I wonder if they're gonna uh, pause for that. Looks like no, they're just gonna leave her be uh, DC'd. Okay, cool. Level of Founder for the Lion. Invis for the Pudge. Dragon Knight going, going for the BKB next. Dyer's top tower is under I'd actually like to see an Agonimus on the Dragon Knight. I think it's uh, the Black Dragons. It's uh, quite handy. MKB completed for the Sniper and then the Crystal is on top of that. Sorry, going for the MKB. Also have a little bit more damage. Magnus has his data list completed. Hmm, it would be cool to to see like um I don't know some type of save on the supports like um whether that's like uh I guess Yules is kind of like a pseudo save. Um, but you know things like uh, Glimmer, Four Staffs, or you know even like a Solar Crest to buff up the um, buff up the Slark or even. Um, a Lotus Orb this game would be amazing against all these like click point stunts like you know the Dragonite, the Lion, the Dismember um, so we'll see if uh, their supports can choose to get that oh not here by the bot lane this Magnus gets picked off let's have a look Magnus farming the enemy side of the triangle with this Wraith King Ooh. Wow, Magnus actually blinks onto the creeper and starts right clicking that. Yeah, that was uh, that was his fatal mistake. Gets picked off. Underestimated a little bit the the Wraith King, like uh, or just you know thinking that he was alone, but you know <laughs> he had the rest of the gang with him, and he's able to get brought down. It's like uh, <laughs> Wind Ranger's finally gonna reconnect. Trickster Cloak on the Pudge. Nice item there. Oh, that's a nice one. Timer's Relic for the Lion. Hmm. Sniper not wanting to get his uh, word dewarded. Hmm. I wonder if the... The Dire know that they have vision of them um, right here. We'll just have to see if one of the supports actually um, deward that. And yeah, it looks like the the Vayne are gonna start making their way over to their their ward, but the Dyer also have a ward here, so they know they're here, and they're gonna start backing away. Ooh, an Ninja Gear for the Slark, that's a nice item. 15 permanent uh, Agi stacks for the Slark. Trying to hunt something, but not gonna be able to find anything. And plus, the Radiant team is pretty close together. Wow. Blink, stun, dismember, pops a BKB, let's get hooked, starts laying it onto the punch, starts stealing on those stacks. But needs to start running away. This uh, BKB is over, his Shadow Dance is also over. Therefore, the party is over. Oh, what? 
Slark sticking around and the blink. Dragon Tail, Dark Pact, not enough to be able to get away the crit from the Wraith King is there and secures the kill. Really overconfident there by the Slark. Really trying to press the issue a little bit too, f too much there. Now they're onto the high ground. Looks like the Slark is gonna buy back. He wants to defend this RP coming through onto the other side on the. Yeah, on the uh, Wind Ranger, it's gonna br be brought down. Who got to the Slark, but not the right target. And now they're on the retreat. This oh, nice blink dodge by the Dragon Knight. No more Aegis on the Dragon Knight. Ooh. Dragon Knight actually blink forward, has to pop the BKB. Magnus longer has the RP. Breaking gonna jump on top of the sniper. Sniper gonna be able to get away all, oh, but the Slark is getting focused down. He's dead for 120 seconds. Assassinate actually connecting up to the creep, I think. Wraith King dropping kinda low, doesn't have the ring condition gonna be brought down. Spike onto the sniper. Blink. Dragon Tail. Sniper getting healed up. And the lifesteal is able to survive. This Vladimir's offering doing so much work. Ghost Scepter gets popped by the lion, but he's gonna be brought down. Wow, this um between these griefs and this uh Vladimir's offering, this uh, this sniper is able to stay alive for so long. Like uh he should he should have been brought down about two or three times during that fight, but he's able to um, right click the enemy heroes and just life steal and be able to stay alive. You know, now he has the MKV, the he deals quite a bit of damage, you know. Once he has that uh, life steal on top of him, he's able to survive. Wraith King, gotta jump on top of the Jakiro and claim that kill. Now he's on the hunt for the sniper. The sniper, gonna try for the TP out, but not gonna be successful, doesn't have any mana. Gonna be brought down, dead for 100 seconds. But, is Avedon. Wants some blood. He wants revenge for his sniper, but the Sex Magnus doesn't really want revenge for his sniper. Huh? Wraith King? Blink. Magnus? Check for the kill. They get on top of the Wraith King, but oh my god, this Magnus is so chunky. They have vision. Oh, they have the sentry here. That's gonna be the first life. Oh no! He misses the RP. But they should be able to. St they should still be able to bring him down. Yeah. Even though they miss the RP, they're still able to bring him down. This Magnus has so much armor. The Shivas and the Blade Mill. Just you know, this <laughs> this Wraith King trying to like lay it onto him. You know, trying to man fight him. But this Magnus, dude, he's got. Uh, what is that? What? Forty-eight, around 40, 50 armor. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Pretty good. Wind Ranger. Let's be careful. Let's have, they don't have RP, but you know, between these two heroes, if they get the skewer, ah, oh, nice hook. Bailing her out. Nicely done. If uh, this Lark's able to get the pounce off on top of her, like, that's dead. That's a dead Wind Ranger. Maybe, maybe not so much. They had, she had, she did have the BKB, so. Ha, <laughs> this Jakiro going for the Sage and Kaya. See this out on Blade Mail. Right. Is this Vanguard? I'm not really sure what he's building, but we'll see. Sark, level 26, actually doesn't go for the 60 seconds on the essence shift. Very interesting uh, choice there over, uh, you know, decides to go for the plus one second on the shadow dance. Interesting, like, uh, at, I mean, hey, uh, it's his choice, but I think uh, the um, plus 60 seconds on the essence shift is quite, uh, it's quite deadly. Wind Ranger trying to go for the pickoff actually does manage to land the shackle, but Slark gets the dark packed off and is able to push that away. Those teams reaching a little bit of a stalemate right now. Roshan is back up, so that's probably gonna be the point of the next contestion. 
I'd like to see either team trying to go for like a smooth movement, trying to go for a pick off and then move into the Roche pit. Now that, uh, let's see, there's not a lot of buybacks. Like, and by not a lot, I mean there's literally no buybacks except on this Shakira. So uh, it'll be cool to see uh, other team trying to make a smoke play because I actually haven't seen that many this game. How about them with the invis? Trying to get vision. Radiant, Radiant scanning. scanning the pit. Doesn't connect. Just poking his nose. Trying to see what's up. Actually, Magnus going for the uh, agony of stuff there. What is that? Oh, three shockwaves. Like, uh, like the arrows, but shockwaves instead. I'd actually like to see, uh, like, you know, if you're gonna be going for, like, an Aghanim type thing, I think the Aghanim shard on this, uh, on this here is quite nice, the, the Bornthos, uh, can, uh, can do some nice setup. Looks like the Radiant, they're gonna move into the Roche pit. Nice movement, the, the, the Dire not even nowhere near to contest this, so that's gonna be a nice, uh, nice Aegis cheese shard for the side of the Radiant. I wonder who's going to get the shard. <coughs> Maybe the Pudge? I think the, the shard on the Pudge would be quite nice. It's kind of like a pseudo save. He's able to um, uh, swallow up somebody. And yeah, they're going to get to the Pudge. Yeah, it's pretty valley on the Pudge. It's a nice little save mechanic there. Yeah, uh, eats it up. Nicely done. DD over by the bot side. Ooh, that's gonna be quite nasty. If uh, one of these uh, right in here picks it up, and Raytheon is gonna be the one picking it up. Nope. But, on the other hand, they're starting off the fight. Wind Ranger, they have vision of the Wind Ranger, and it's just gonna be able to go down. The MKV, Wind Run doesn't really matter. Jakiro gonna buy back. Slark starting to lay it onto the Pudge. Then switch his target onto the Wraithian, but looks like he's gonna be brought down. No Shadow Dance, no nothing to be able to save his life on the other side. Dragon Knight, dropping kinda, kinda deep, trying to man fight this, uh, this sniper, but Wraithian's there with the support that uh, this Dragon Knight needed. Claim it. Aegis is gonna get claimed. Magnus in a little bit of trouble. Finger, wow. And then the right click from the Wraithian, enough to finish up the kill. Dragon Knight blinking on forward, Dragon Tail onto the Jakira. Jakira looks to be in quite a bit of trouble. Hex. Sucky Sucky. Oh, nice cure onto the tier 4s. That's gonna be the first life onto the Wraith King. Wraith King needs to start being a little bit careful now. Is he gonna be brought down? No, Shadow Blade, he's able to run away. Pudge, on the other hand, is gonna be brought down. Nice assassination there, finishing off the kill onto the Wraith King. And now, skewer? Hmm, that was not the full length skewer, but I think still good enough skewer. They're gonna be able to get the kill. This sniper doing absolute work. Doing cuts work this game. Just uh, that buyback from the sniper, absolutely crucial. Nice crew on back. Lion looks to be pretty damn dead. Oh, one more. Shivas? No way, the blink dodge. <gasps> Is he gonna. No, skewer. And the right click. They get the kill. But, wow, this. Um... Yeah, man. This. Uh... This buyback from the from the from the sniper and the Magnus. I think the Magnus also brought back uh, these two buybacks. Absolutely crucial for holding holding the base. This Magnus with some really nice skewers on back. Like uh, managing get, getting the skewer uh, on the Dragonite on the Wraith King, screwing them all the way back onto the tier fours. Really nicely done. And this sniper is just able to you know sit back, chill. Hit this, hit this heroes from like such a far range and uh, chat like, you know, at the beginning Sniper wasn't dealing a lot of damage, he didn't have a lot of items, he had no farm, he was kind of a joke, but now that he has MKB there, list, this man ain't no joke no more. When Ranger trying to hunt for the Sniper, knows that he has no buyback, so that would be quite a big kill, but Sniper is, uh, hits him with the assassinate, says, hey, I know you're here. Wind Ranger doesn't care, he's still trying to go for the kills. Oh no. The Shackle? But this Magnus is a chunky boy. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. He's got like uh, he's got 51 armor, man. Nice agonims. Let's see. Wind Ranger needs to be careful. RP is on, it's at the ready, but the Wind Run uh, talent with the invisibility proving to be a little bit too annoying. But yeah, this Wind Runner needs to start being careful now that these heroes have. Oh, hold that thought. Wraith King. On the other side, trying to lay it onto the Magnus, but Magnus has 51 armor. Are you not going to be able to bring him down? DKB gets popped by the Slark. He's starting to right click onto the Pudge. Oh, a nice RP into the Magma Fire. That's going to be the first life onto the Wraith King. Pudge is going to have to be brought down. 20, slack, 20 stacks onto the Slark. Look like at Magnus is going to die on the back side of that. Borrow time onto the Abaddon. Oh, they find the kill onto the uh, onto the Wind Ranger. This Aladdin is still alive, and that's the that's the dead Wraith King. They were standing over the Macro Pirate that whole entire fight. Now the Slark is gonna jump right back in. Not fighting the dra oh the Dragon Knight with the finger, nice finger securing onto the kill. He pops the Ghost Scepter, but then they assassinate. It's enough to finish off the kill onto him. Now the Dragon Knight trying to walk off to the sniper, but he just keeps getting pushed back by the uh, by the headshot. And wow. What a fight. What a fight. Um, dude, this RP onto pretty much every single one of them, and then the Macro Pyre doing so much work. I'm surprised that the, that the Slark didn't stick around around this side of the fight, uh, fighting the, you know, the Dragon Knight, the uh, Wraith King. The, the punch didn't end up going down at the beginning of that fight. Then he decided to go over here. I'm, I didn't really catch... Too much of a sight of what was happening here, but I do think it was like you know between the sniper and the uh, and the wind runner. Wind runner goes down. I think the slark helped with that. I'm not really sure. I wasn't quite quite looking. And during that whole time that you know they were going to kill the wind ranger, this this Adam was just man fighting like three heroes. Like and you know he had the borrow time. He's able to buy so much more time. He does end up going down, but you know they were fighting him underneath the macro pyre. And you know by the time the slark shows back, like these uh, these dire heroes were so low in HP. A little bit unfortunate that Slark ends up going down there. He tried man fighting the the Dragon Knight when he was uh, dropping a little bit low. Uh, I mean, obviously, if it was only the Dragon Knight, that would have been perfectly fine. He would have been able to run away uh, much easier. But you know, the Lion was there, secures so a kill onto him with the li with the finger. But wow, oh, oh, what a bunch of fights, man! This uh, this Macro Pyre doing absolute work during that fight for sure. And same thing for the RP. This. Dude, this um, this Magnus is making so many plays this game. It's uh, it's actually pretty insane. I I definitely do think um, I'd give the MVP award uh, this game to the Magnus because he's just been able to get such nice like skewer bags and RPs. Even though he missed this RP up here onto the Wind Ranger, we can look past that. It doesn't really matter, you know. It, it happens. It happens. His sniper now with like Silver Edge, Hurricane Pike, you know, like last time I clicked on him, he had like Monkey King Bar, Daedalus, and Agony Scepter. Now he has another extra two items, man. See, this Pudge actually wanted to go for the heart. Sly and with, <laughs> with the Agony Scepter and 11, dude, this Lion does so much damage with his finger, it's actually insane. Hmm, this um this dragon are actually choosing to go for the um, for the server edge. Interesting. Yeah, nice. This I don't go for the lotus orb, my boy, I ah, ah, nice, nice. Really good game for the Lotus Orb. Like uh, you know, between this member, the lion, the ray fire blast, the uh, dragon knight with the dragon tail. There's so many things, like uh, like so many skills to uh, to use the lotus on. So really, like props props to this Abaddon on recognizing that um, that it's a pretty good lotus game. This <laughs> the Jakira with the Kaya. Wow, Abyssal completed for the Slark, that's massive for them. Let's see, like, uh, 
These uh, these raiding heroes don't have much much room to grow left compared to the uh, to the dire heroes. Yes, <clears throat> this sniper can still eat his items and get one extra item on top of that. Uh, Slark did sell his um his echo saver and got the abyssal blade on top of that. But honestly, this Slark. Uh, he can be without power trust, he can be without boots, like, you know, when he's in the uh, when he's in the shadows, he's quite speedy. So he could he could get an extra item here if he does choose to. So Magnus still has another, you know, another slot for another item. I was like going for a Lotus, uh, for a Lotus, that's gonna be massive for, for the team. You know, put that on top of the Slark, and uh, pretty much like these fingers and uh, these members, hexes, spikes, and all that. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be reflected on back, and it's gonna be pretty good. I would have liked seeing also like a, a solar crest earlier on, because um, they do have quite a bit of physical damage on this side of the, on the side of the radiant. Like you know, the focus fire, the ray king crits. And then the Dragon Knight, you know, he right clicks for a decent amount, but it's mostly the poison. Oh, smoke movement coming on through onto the Slark. Slark in quite a bit of trouble with the shield, bailing him out. And then the Shadow Dance, he's able to get out. It's Avadon, an absolute lifesaver. If he wasn't there with the Aphotic Shield, that, uh, that Slark was dead meat. Wind Ranger, Wind running forward. He should be a little bit careful. He's kind of split away from his team, but it's like the Dire just gonna back up. They're not in good positions, and they, uh,. The rest of the radiant team is here. They do have some good vision on the side of the ra uh, the dire here by the jungle, so they could look to try to fight, take a fight. Roshan is back up. That's probably gonna be the next point of contention. AC coming for the Dragon Knight. He actually sold his maelstrom. Interesting. Um, Interesting. I would think you do try to try to finish your Mjolnir instead, but sells a metal stone because of the no abyssals the creep. That's so unfortunate. Ray Clean just been able to shadow blade away. Yeah. Slark has no detection unfortunately. Actually none of his team has detection. I mean the Shakiro has a sentry but no one has dust. Literally no one has dust. So that's gonna be quite troublesome, like um Going later onto the game, but they do have like uh, I I do get comments to the side of the dire. They do have uh, a decent amount of sentries laid out throughout the map. So oh, well, Moon Ranger gets found out. Arty's available. She pops a BKB. They have a sentry there. They're able to get the kill quite easily. Like, uh, even if she gets the wind run off, like, all of, like, you know, the sniper has MKV, the Slark has MKV, and wow. That's a lot of damage from that finger, man. That's like, uh, 1k damage, 1.3k damage for the finger. Not quite, uh, you know, lion mid levels, but for support, that's pretty good. Smoke movement. Wow, and they're gonna find the Dragon Knight. This Dragon Knight caught in no man's land. The rest of his team is too far away, and now the Slark building those stacks, man. 22 essence shifts. They could definitely try to look to, uh, look to do Roche. Now that uh, the Slark has quite a few essence shifts, and you know, this, this sniper deals quite a bit of damage. DD on the bot side of the river, and this Magnus is pinging it out. Looks like they just want to push onto the high ground. Or at least shove the wave onto the high ground. We'll see what the dire team chooses to do. I'm not sure what this Avalon is doing. He needs to be a little bit careful. Like, yeah, dude, you're in no man's land. You do have to borrow time, but you know that's only, yeah. The Jakiro there to bail out his buddy, Ice Path. Back him up a little bit. But hey, this Avalon, you know, he was in no man's land. Then he gets into trouble. Kind of rally his team to come over and uh, aid, his, uh, aid his help. Oh, Magnus. Okay, hook this member. E Blade? No way. <laughs> this lion has a freaking uh, Ethereal Blade. 
But I think trying to jump onto the back lines. Wow, oh, this Lark is actually going to be brought down. Nice uh, nice setup there by the Pudge. It's breaking a little bit of trouble, but let's see if the reincarnation ready. The one looks to be in trouble with the Jakura. Now this uh, Avadon. Wow, oh, he managed to pop the Borrow time just in time. Basically, he's going to lose his first life, but it doesn't really matter. They're going to be able to bring down the... The Jakiru and yeah, a little bit of an overextension there by the by the side of the dire. They were filling themselves out a little bit too much. Um, you know, this Avalon kind of baited his whole team in. Like, uh, you know, he was here in No Man's Land. He started being in trouble. Then Jakiru's like, all right, I gotta help out my boy. Helps out his boy, and then the rest of the team is like, all right, you know, we're here. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna as well as just you know start chilling, pushing here, and then uh, the Pudge gets a nice hook onto the Magnus. They get to pick off onto the Magnus and then the then they get to pick onto the Slark and then the rest, you know, Great King's able to jump the back lines and uh Chaos for the side of the dire. We're gonna have several buybacks here. One Ranger with the DD, gonna eat the cheese, heal herself up a little bit. Blink? Wow, aggressive blink by the by the Dragon Knight. Does pop the BKB, it's gonna start backing away, so he's gonna be okay. But yeah, if that, if that BKB wasn't cool enough for the Dragon Knight, he would've been in a little bit of trouble. Neither team going for Roshan just yet. Slark is back up in 4 seconds. I'd like to see the, the Dire go for a smoke play, and yeah, they scan out the Roche bit, but it's gonna be too late, the Wraith King was already working on that, and yeah. It's a gone Roche bit. I wonder who they're gonna give the axe to. Really? Race King? I think uh, there's much better people to give the axe to. But we'll see if. They, yeah, he's actually gonna consume it. Interesting. I definitely think, like, this Dragonite's a much better target. Um, uh, nah, not the punch. But I definitely think the, the Dragonite would have been the, the key target for, for the Aghanim Scepter. The Black Dragon's really good. Like, to reincarnation, like, the heroes uh, get to respawn afterwards, like, bruh, come on. Maybe, maybe, uh, like, if this Wraith King had a Rapier, like, I'd understand why he wants the Aghanim Scepter. Like, you know, if you have the Rapier and um, you die, even, like, you know, reincarnation gets popped, then you die, like, for real, for real, and then your ghost gets popped, you can TP on back to base, and then when you die, your Rapier's back at base. So I don't understand if he wants to do that, but you know, he doesn't have a rapier, so I don't know, man. I think uh, the axe on the on the Dragonite would have been better, but hey, it is what it is. Actually, who has the cheese? Dragon, uh, Wraith King, but he has it in his backpack, interesting. Well, we're here on the backside. This Wind Ranger getting gone on Abyssal Blade. Your wind runs are not gonna help you anymore, you know. We have MKBs. But now Lion has shown up to help her out, but looks like the assassinate's gonna be enough to finish off the kill onto the to the Wind Ranger. This uh Slark in a little bit of trouble, so doesn't actually get the Shadow Dance off and now starts turning it around. Dragonite dropping kinda low. Goes down the first time, now this Lion oh manages to blink away. Gets out of dodge. On the back side. Huge, huge fight between the Wraith King and the backline supports. They're gonna find a kill onto that sniper. Just be able to, you know, silver edge, get away from the get away from the Dragon Knight, and yeah. Wraith King gonna end up going down. Now this Dragon Knight in quite a bit of trouble. Here Pike Hurricane Pike was there. Dragon Knight in no man's land. Lion trying to do the best he can with the finger. Nice uh nice lotus there. And dude, this like 68. Yeah. <laughs> 60 essence shifts. This uh, Wind Ranger started running away. He cheated by back, but just like that, she has to start running away. And yeah, the uh, the dire heroes are just pinging their base. They do have buybacks on the side of the radiant, so you know that's their their one saving grace. But dude, this um. This dire team, I mean, this raiding team keeps being so, like, uncoordinated, you know, like, this raid keeps jumping the back lines all by and slumps himself, while, you know, the, um, like, uh, well, the ranger is already dead, and then, no way. 
Stark. 60 stacks. You start to lay it onto the parts. This part you know, stands no chance. Mm. Nice dark pact. Two. This Lark, 93 essence shift. They pop the RP. They're gonna get the dragon kill all night. Wow. This Etherland, I mean, uh, Aeon Disc, but dude, the Slark, like, he right clicks for so much. So unfortunate there for the side of the dire. Like, they were so discordant, like, uh, uncoordinated in their fights. Um, you know, the Wraith King trying to, kept trying to jump the back line, so by his lungs himself, you know, trying to jump the, the Abaddon, Jakiro, and, uh, and then the Magnus. Always loans himself and just keeps getting kited, you know, between the spells um, of the of the Jakir and then the right click of the Magnus. You know, they're easily able to bring him down. And you know, at the beginning of that fight, the Wind Ranger Wind Ranger went down, so they don't have really have a lot of damage. And then the on the other side, you know, this um, this Pudge and this Dragon are trying to fight uh, the Slark and the and the Sniper, but you know, they just keep getting kited and they're not successful. And you know. It was really like discombobulated, discombobulated their their fights, just uh, not coordinating well. Like either the whole team jumps the back lines, or either the whole team jumps the slark. Because there were so many times where like this slark was so close to dying, but you know because uh, the raking was not there, or you know the push was not there. You know they weren't all on the same page. They were not able to find a kill onto him, and then onto that last fight that slark had like. What a hundred and twenty three essence shift, like through the game's over. <laughs> but yeah, really cool game, like a uh, really cool comeback from the side of the dire. They started now making some really good moves, and also this, um, this Magnus man, like, uh, I, th I definitely think this man Magnus gets the MVP award for this game, really making uh, some really crucial plays, you know, um, holding the base when it was just him and the sniper, uh, against like pretty much like. You know, the whole dire squad are like four heroes. You know, he's able to get some really nice cures back onto the tier fours and uh, defend the base. But yeah, I definitely give this Magnus MVP, uh, making some plays for them to be able to come back into the game. Very nice game, very nice game. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, support the channel any way you can with this like in the video, sharing it with your grandma, your girlfriend, whoever it is. However, if you're not bothered, the mere fact you watch this video, good enough for me. Peace out, guys.